would be a good one. one. Ideas. Yeah, leadership. Rolling the ball instead of catching the leadership. ball. Leadership. I love that. Leadership. Usher was leader. Listen in. Usher. Usher. Was who was the person who said this? Who was Usher? Thank you. Can we do this in a line? Can we get in a line? Can we just... Who was, the one, who was the one who said, well, put it up, up, and we'll roll it down? Oh, that was the That was the That was the Leadership skill, oh. and you have an ability to think outside the box. Wow, I know you're so oh. great in the video. Huh? <laughs> so great. Well, that's why you have this. I don't know. You should write one of those Fortune 500. Now, I want each of you to write down in this and this handout. Each person needs a handout, right? Each person needs a handout. There are pens here, gentlemen. There are pens here. Courtesy of Rabbi Barry. Thank you, Rabbi Barry, for organizing this. And I want you to write down what intellectual skills, what mind skills did you have in this exercise? And, and gentlemen, I want to know what, what mind skills you've had to exercise life. What kind of mind skills do you use in yeshiva? Are you an organizer? Are you... Are you a person who thinks outside the box? Write that down. Are you academic? And here's something much more important. Do you have street smarts? I believe that in high school and up to now, most of us, this is my pet peeve against high school, is that most of us in elementary school, and all education, is most of our education is done by memory. All you've been tested for until now is how much you can memorize, how many facts and figures, how many names and places, geography that you've been able to memorize. So you get an A and B. The guys and the girls who got A's were great in memory. Were they good in thinking? Were they good in figuring things out? You just showed in this group just now, and besides the energy that I love in this yo. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I saw creative thinking, which could be applied not only here in this exercise, but to your learning, to your relationships, to your future career, your business career. You can think outside the box. That's how a person succeeds in life. Not by memorizing stuff and spitting it back on an exam. And you, got a, you guys maybe got a C or a D and you say, oh, I'm not, I'm not as smart as you got. Big deal! That's academic smarts. Academic smarts don't t doesn't tell you how you are able to think with wisdom, right? The Torah talks about wisdom. Pikeach. Do you have an ability to have bina? And imre bina means lahavin davar mitoch davar, right? So chokhmah is you have information. Good, very good. You learned something. Now bina, why imre bina is called imre bina is because they want you to take your own unique strengths. Rabbi Berry, Rabbi Powitz, Rabbi Baron, they want you to be able to take your strengths, your mind, and then apply it to new situations. When I was in law school, I, my first year in law school, I, was, I practiced law for six years. The first, I mean, the, soccer. the first law school exam, I had so much fun. Why? It was nothing that I experienced before. They gave us information that we studied, the books, etc., etc. And then they gave us a new case, which I never saw before, never heard of before. And they said, okay, this happened, this happened, this happened, called Black Acre and White Acre and John and Bill, and they did this. And you have to apply what you learned to that situation. Right? I go, what? I've never seen this before. That was the first law school exam. I was in shock, right? But I really came out of that exam, and I enjoyed it. It was crazy. I don't enjoy school. But I enjoyed the exam because it made me what? Made me do what? Think. Okay. Think. <laughs> not, not only focus, but think, what do I know and how do I apply it? In Bina, with your Rosh Yeshiva and your your uh, you're learning how to apply life skills to life. That's called common sense. That's called street smart. That's called living, right? Academic smarts is not where it's at, right? 
1% have this perfect LSAT score and MEMCAS, big deal. But when you want to live life, and you want to get from place to place, you want to organize something, you want to organize a Shabbaton, you want to organize a, an event, you want to organize a program, right? You have to have street smarts. Well, what you just showed me is you have that. So if you yourself personally have street smarts and you have common sense, put it down under intellect. I have common sense, street smart. I'm a problem solver, problem solver, figure things out, right? You figure things out. I want you to write that down under intel. If you have that ability, social skill, that's, if you have the ability to problem solve, to figure things out, I want you to write that down under the section called intellect. Does everyone have a, a, a handout? Right? Everyone has a handout? Guys? I don't really know what that means to be able to like solve problems. Well, oh, like right here, I don't know how much I can. Anybody need one? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentlemen? The phone, the phone needs one. Everyone need one? Uh, I am Yehuda Roll's father. Uh, yes! Where are you from? I am from, I live in Baltimore right yeah. now. Yeah! Baltimore? But I'm born in Montreal. Yeah. 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 What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 How to solve problems? I don't know the, problems. Problems. I don't know the <laughs> practical <laughs> examples of what it means to be a problem. Does anyone have a practical example of how to be a problem solver? It, it's not going to video it. Like what? You he he asked me to. Yeah. So, okay. Oh. You have no, a. Somebody can't find it tomorrow. You guys can't do it. Okay. Say it again. Somebody can't find it tomorrow. I'm going to say it. I'm just making a copy or something else for that day. Right. Seven minutes and 48 seconds. Come on. You're not a brain dead retard. I don't know. He asked me to video him. Right. I, I, don't know how long. I am a brain dead. Okay, so I'm not retarded. Intellect check. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. But with, you know, think I'll adult, wait to get his attention. Terms, you can solve problems outside the box. Think outside the box. Right? Do you know there was the Apollo, Apollo 13 mission, <clears throat> and they had an oxygen leak in the tank, uh, and they, the guys were going to die. So they took different items that they had on board, and the NASA guys dumped six or eight items on the table and said, we have 13 minutes to use these items to figure out how to get the oxygen leak to be fixed First. so that oxygen does not leave the cabin so that they can not die, right? Octus. So they had to use problem solving skills using those six or eight items that they had on board and they reproduced it here in NASA down on the emission control. And these guys came up with a plan in 13 minutes and told the guys up there how to do it, the contraption. That's crazy. And they survived, right? That's called real life problem solving. So sometimes in life, you've got a real life problem and you've got to use your mind to think it. That's called real thinking. Reminding yourself and remember, memorizing stuff on an exam and spitting it back, which I believe many of you, many of, and myself as well, were tested on in high school, doesn't test your, your ability. It doesn't. It just tests your memory. Right, know what I say? Exactly what Zeresh said when Haman came home. Haman came home and said, Zeresh, I'm home. Big and, deal. And Zeresh said, <coughs> big deal. Right? I, what did I say about academic success? Big no. deal. What I talk about is using your mind. Let's go on to the next section, social skills. What are your social skills? Are you outgoing? Outgoing. <laughs> Are you socially off? Right? <laughs> now, you can be socially off. You can be socially off, but if you're proud of it, then that's okay. Right? If you're socially off, but you're proud of it, then that's good because that you make a deal out of it. Right? Socially off. I missed the whole thing now. Do we still have that uh, the video? Did it go? Put it up there. By one fifty parts. So okay, it's going. Great, excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Problem Look solving. at that problem solver. Wow. Problem solving. Look at that. He put the video. Ezra. What's your name? Ezra. 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 Put the video on the side. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like back in school we will be punished for doing that. 
Isn't that cool? What we're doing for what? Doing like, for like putting <laughs> the fun no, there and no right. Why would you be punished for that? Oh, because you're thinking out of the box, and there's one way to do it, and you're not doing it that way. I think you're right. I think that yeah. the school yeah. the school system failed us. Yeah. 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 And Rabbi Barry is redeeming us. Yeah. 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 You're right. In school, we were so like I have kids. I have kids. I have one daughter who is. Um, I have one daughter who's 21. What's that guy's Okay. And she, and she was a very, I would say, like you guys, lively, right? Labor dick, lively girl. And she sat in the class and she was, you know, she was asking questions and she was moving and she was talking. And, she, and the teacher said, we can't handle this kind of energy, right? And one teacher, one teacher, she was a very talkative kid, right? She was very, like a leadership kind of person. Put her in the corner, right? And she had to stand in the corner, right? So I went to the principal with my wife to ask about what, why are you, why are you using methodologies from 1725, right? To discipline children, just because you can't handle this kid, you can't channel energy. That's what Imre Bina, right? And that's what I do, is I take people's natural energy, natural exuberance, natural kochos, and channel them into good. As a psychologist, that's what I do. And that's what, you're taking your raw talent, your abilities, right, leadership abilities, your social skills, and you're, and you're channeling them into positivity. So social skills, are you outgoing? Are you, now some of you may not be outgoing. Some of you may be introverted, introverted but one-to-one. -one. If you're a one-to-one -one guy, and you give support to somebody, you give chizuk to somebody, and they cry on your shoulder, mm. oh. then you could be a one-to-one -one guy and also be positive in relationships. You could be an outgoing guy, you know, you could run, a, run this program like this, you know, and, 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 you know, maybe, right, and play football, or you could also be a one-to-one -one guy, quiet guy, right, and give chizuk to somebody, give emotional support. By the way, gentlemen, gentlemen, you heard it here first. When you go out and get married, right, the most important thing in marriage is learning how to give emotional support. Emotional support means, this is the most important lesson in marriage, and that is, if your wife says, wife says, you know, I had a tough day. So if you say to her, ah, don't worry about it. I'm on your side, don't worry about it. If you say that, what, what's wrong with that? You didn't do anything. You didn't, you didn't validate her. You didn't validate her feelings, that's right. Oh, but if she says... Oh, you didn't validate her feelings. But if you say that on a tough day, and you say what? What do you have to say? What do you have to say when she says I had a tough day? Oh my gosh, tell me all about it, please. Oh, 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 So that's that's social skills. Okay. Pass it back. You have to pass it. Spirituality. Spirituality. What? Under spirituality. Write down what inspires you. What about personality? I'm coming back to personality in a second. Spirituality. What inspires you? Person. You inspire me. Well, right. Yo, baby. You inspire me. Right? So what is what the, what inspires you? What makes you say wow? Right? What makes you rock? Right? In terms of inspiration. Dwayne John. Is it is it uh, any guys go on a teal? You guys go on a teal? That, that's like a teal, guys. You ever go on a, on a, on a hike? Did you go to the Milan? You go to the Milan? You go on a hike, a three-hour, five-hour hike, right? You stop for a second, you go, you look at the Hashem's world, you go like this, you go. <laughs> like, wow, man. Did you ever have any, anybody ever do that? Like, stop and say, wow. You can just go behind Yeshiva. Go behind Yeshiva. Go behind Yeshiva. If you stop for a second and go, wow, this world is amazing, and Hashem put me in it, that's called spirituality. That's being aware of being alive. Right? So what is spiritual about you? What is alive about you? What is inspired about you? Write down what inspires you. Hiking, 
music, people, spiros, people, people, right? Chabra, right? Sidi right? Where's that man? Is that your son? My son, Sangalenu, yeah. My son Yehuda, that's right. Oh, yeah.